Classes start tomorrow at the University of Utah, and with this new school year comes a new U president. Education specialist Deanie Wimmer sat down with Dr. Taylor Randall. He's a homegrown president. Yes, he's got a long career history and a family history at the U, but it's the future that has him most excited with plans to take the U to the next level. So you're a third generation U professor. Tell me your reaction when you learned you'd now be the president of the U. First was excitement because I love this institution and it's, it's my passion job. But of course, there's a little bit of lump in your throat knowing what's happened in the past and also the potential for the future. Think of an experience that you had as a student here on this campus that led you to the corner office. I had an English professor my freshman year that took me under his wing. He actually gave me an F on my first writing assignment. And he had me rewrite that a number of times and I improved for the process. I think it was that single experience that got me thinking about becoming an educator because I saw for the first time the power an individual can have on the life of a student. You're described as having a relentless focus on students. I have a philosophy that education should be hard, but it also should just be fun. And if you can combine those two things, you create magic. And I think we can create the most exciting educational environment that you'll see in the United States. You still hike with students? I do. During the pandemic, we had to find creative ways to interact. And so I organized bike rides. Uh, I'm a golfer. There are a few students that wanted to go golfing and also, also took hikes. A primary goal? continue the work of his predecessor, Ruth Watkins, to make higher education accessible. A number of years ago, I asked for a, a list of students um, that didn't show up on campus. I asked for 100, and I started calling them, called them myself. And uh, it was actually heartbreaking, some of the stories I heard. He will also have to continue the work of improving campus safety after the tragic shooting of student Lauren McCluskey. Do you feel like those issues are behind you? You can't put that behind you entirely because you've got to learn from it. And we've improved a lot, but we've got a long way to go. Do you feel like with students, that's going to be the hardest barrier to, or obstacle to overcome? I think that's right. I think we've got to be genuine in um, the way we approach students. As former dean of the business school, he increased scholarships from 800000 to $15 million. School revenues grew from 27 to $135 million, and eight of the school's programs became top five in the nation. He'll work to replicate that and focus on making everyone on campus feel welcome. I think the theory is here is you create a community that is welcoming and creates a sense of belonging for individuals that we will be able to see progress in all areas. What's the best perk of being the president of the university? You know, I've been on the job probably too short, um, but I will tell you I have the best parking place I've ever had. It had to be that. Yeah. He probably gets great seats at the football games, too. But for all the family tradition that bleeds red, his youngest daughter will start school this fall at BYU. House doing.